Hey guys, welcome back. This is another speed test. So previously we have done the Galaxy S8 comparison with the, some flagships of the you know 2016 like Pixels from the 3D and we got some different different surprising cells. So make sure to check that video out. So this video is based on the many many requests in the comments. So like I'm using both the Nexus 6P here and the Google Pixel. So a lot of users have commented like they are still using Nexus 6P whether they should be upgrading to the Google Pixel XL or not. So I told them basically the way the out in the Galaxy S8 came then maybe you guys can decide. So for speed thing and all the stuff check out those things and i'm just working on the camera comparison hopefully by tomorrow i'll publish that so in this video we are not going to check which device is working faster i mean obviously galaxy s8 should be working faster but actually we can just feel like how slower is the nexus 6p or how much faster galaxy is compared to the nexus 6p like there is a difference of 10 second 20 second or just a fraction of second say one or second two second three second max so that should be fine with normal process users so let's get started and see everything is turned off so i'm just going to put the power button so this has the bootloader unlocked you can take exactly five seconds more so powering up the device in three two one so this has a bootloader unlocked so you can exactly take five seconds more So Samsung Galaxy S8 has booted up, so I'm really impressed, I mean they have removed complete animations so of whatever Android is doing, even it is faster than OnePlus 3T, OnePlus 3 and all the devices, so I guess this is the fastest booting device you can ever see, just take maximum 18 to 20 seconds at all. So we got the Nexus 6 v 2 and guys in case you want that wallpaper, I do have many comments, go ahead and check out my Facebook page, I do post all my wallpapers, so you can compare the site in case you wanted to, you can see. This is your Galaxy versus the Nexus 6P. So in case uh, you want to feel how the 5.8 inches looks like, so this is 5.7 inch display. So probably you can take a look here how wide it is. You can see you got I guess at least uh, near to uh, one centimeter something, maybe eight to nine millimeters. So from here you can see all the angles. Uh, display is very great for the Galaxy. So in case you wanted to have the Galaxy S8, go ahead and uh, try for S8 Plus. That is much better. All right, guys. Here's the two devices. So let's go and start our test. We're going to launch Facebook. See how much time we are taking. So almost same time. Twitter. Uh, slight bit of delay in the loading. No issues with that. YouTube. Galaxy. You know, both are coming here same time. Instagram. So smaller apps, they don't, you know, they don't take much time. They just launch fine whether you try. Uh, 6 gigabytes or uh, 3 gigabytes or no matter but uh, they just work fine just a uh, max or second difference so now they go and just try out some website loading tests so chrome so they launch fine so let's load facebook.com see which one does loads the data faster and see the display type both are AMOLED but you can see it has a more uh, cooler side this is for almost high but in the galaxy you can adjust that almost uh, youtube.com Almost same time, I won't say there's a much difference. So here we go. This uh, news.google.com. The Galaxy always shows this new stuff first. So that's what I'm seeing. You can see it takes a bit of chance here. So time to do some gaming test now. I'm going to start to launch the Surface Surfer. See how fast our Galaxy is compared to the Nexus 6 p So already started loading the data. And still waiting on the boot screen. to 15 second difference so that is too much guys in case you read a lot about playing game stuff and obviously galaxy is your choice temple in two see which one does better here galaxy as usual going faster so point two which i here this is running android nuga 7.1.2 this is still on 7.0 so Really, there is not a much difference compared to the speed on the software side. So, four to five seconds difference here. Uh, it's two generations of processor difference. Heavy game, dead trigger two. We got here first Galaxy. 
So doing kind of some setting stuff. So taking their own time. So we'll move to the next game. We got at least 10 to 14 second difference. So X for the stream. Why it is turning that side? I don't know. It's still loading up. So next is 6 speed takes the usual time. It's a 2 year old difference processor. Uh, X Fault 8. So for the speedy persons, obviously, Galaxy is your best choice. Now it got turned to this side now. It's done. And it's still loading up. So Nexus 6P is still doing their time. You know, it has came. So guys, we have seen almost all the games are taking a bit of time here in downloading things. So now let's go and do some uh, real-time tests. We are going to launch PowerDirector. We will try to convert a HD file film in 120fps to the 4K. Check out on the side by side how the smaller it's a Galaxy but it still contains the 5.18 display. So this is the file, uh, it's 120 FPS file. So I'm just going to convert it to 4K. So I've selected 30 FPS with a better quality on both the sides. So let's get started and complete the thing. Say 2, 1. So Galaxy is uh, about to complete the result. So this is the fastest device in this video game result test among all the devices that have tested till now. So they're running 6 GB of RAM or 4 GB of RAM. The Galaxy is outperforming all of them. It is due to you know the better processor. So you can see Pixel, uh, sorry, it's Nexus 6 p This i 74 is not doing bad comparing its a two-year-old device. So anyway, guys, we're just going to move ahead to next test. I'm just going to click on the cancel here. So we'll be doing some resuming tests and let's see uh, how how better this uh, Nexus 6 p you know, resumes like apps and games in case you have left them. On the place uh, if you're doing in all the stuff so let's see facebook so next is 6 p is uh, almost taking time but it's not yet it's refreshing the same place twitter uh, taking a bit of time and refreshing still we lose all the data see youtube they both are refreshing sleek sort of so let's go and see any website. This is Google News. How about that? So both are actually refreshing all the stuff. Anyway, guys, uh, this is important here. Now with the games, so let's go and check out. See, uh, so guys, there is a mixed result in the Galaxy when I compare the same with the 3T and the 3. I found that all the games are getting reloaded by the Galaxy. Uh, you can just check out those videos. But 3 and 3T maintains all the games in the memory. The same five games, but when I compare the Pixel. Uh, with the Galaxy S8, only the Temple Land 2 got refreshed, other games were in the memory. So let's see what happens here today. So please help for... So it's reloading here, both, uh, I don't know, yesterday shown different result. Day before yesterday it was different, so today it is different. So looks like some weird memory management with this uh, Galaxy. I'm not really sure the RAM is a reason or anything other is a reason. Let's go and see other games. So Temple Land 2. In the memory same place nexus is refreshing sort of reloading so let's go and try out that trigger too same place this is reloading so considering it has a 3 gigabytes of ram so there should not be made much space expo stream same place nexus is refreshing Taking time here on time. Last one, X Fold 8. So X Fold they took almost all the memory, so better bigger game is in the memory. So guys, this is about the things here now. There's no sense to be checking out the benchmarking score. Still, uh, if you guys are interested, you can just check out the previous. A35 versus A21 versus A20 versus A10 versus A 805 comparison and in a detailed uh, benchmarking and the stuff test. So guys, thank you so much for watching uh, once again in case you are a final verdict. If you have the Nexus 6P, 
still you're looking for upgrade between either to pixel or to this galaxy obviously I uh, took this uh, galaxy because you know it has a more, more advantage compared to like better display better uh, not better camera I will say I'm still testing on whatever I found till now the galaxy is over exposing all the shots I will show you a detailed comparison very soon but in terms of display in terms of features like waterproofing Gorilla Glass 5 super sleek and very cool design is always better but in case you are used to having all the Nexus devices till now and you want only the cleanest stock Android so probably wait for Pixel 2 in case you wanted to buy right now so because the Google Pixel XL is running at the heavy discounts right now so guys once again thank you so much for watching stay tuned and do let me know in the comments if you have any concerns and queries I'll be happy to answer you and I'll talk to you guys in the next video have a great day